Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Dan uh, again with morning devotions for us for uh, this, the fifth day of Easter. As with uh, earlier in the week, our invitation comes from 1 Peter 1 verse 3. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Just take a moment and be quiet. Our Bible song comes from Psalm 69, verses 1 to 3 and 16 to 18. Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in the miry depths where there is no foothold. I have come into the deep waters. The floods engulf me. I am worn out calling for help. My throat is parched. My eyes fail, looking for my God. Answer me, Lord, out of the goodness of your love. In your great mercy, turn to me. Do not hide your face from your servant. Answer me quickly, for I am in trouble. Come near and rescue me. Redeem me because of my foes. Our Bible reading this morning is from 1 Corinthians 15, verses 19 to 26. If only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are to be pitied more than all others. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through a human being, the resurrection of the dead comes also through a human being. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. But in this order, Christ, the firstfruits, then when he comes, those who belong to him, then the end will come when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father after he has destroyed all dominion, authority, and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. For me, what pops out this morning is this phrase from the beginning of 1 Corinthians 15, verse 19 to 26. If only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are to be pitied more than all others. I think Paul says that because if if all the gospel is, is a self-help manual, if it's just teaching us a good way to live and we're living under the delusion that somehow this will give us life eternal or something like this, then why bother? That that would be terrible. We should be pitied if that were the truth. But it's not. It's not the truth. We have Hope for this life, yes, absolutely. Christ has redeemed us and is changing us, transforming us even now. But we also have hope for the life to come. Because we will be raised incorruptible, as the scriptures say. Just like Jesus himself, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. 
Let us pray. Living God, death is a bully and scares the wits out of the best of us. And yet, I thank you for the utter confidence I can now have. What can death throw at me? I have Jesus, my champion, who has gone through hell and conquered death. Help me to boldly live, knowing that Christ's resurrection is my pledge, that the best is yet to be, a deposit guaranteeing my own resurrection. Amen. Now join in our doxology this morning. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. To him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen.